adding fractions with common denominators. So let's start with 5 eighths plus 7 eighths. Okay, when you're adding fractions and they have common denominators, it's very simple. You keep the common denominator as it is, so you keep it as eighths, but you add the numerator. So I'm going to add 5 plus 7, so the answer is going to get, it's, I'm going to get is 12 eighths. Now, as you can see, 12 eighths can be reduced. Okay, first we know that 12 and 8 both have a common factor of 4. So I can actually divide the 8 and the 12 by 4 and that gives me 3 halves. So your answer is 3 halves. Now if you're asked to switch it to a mixed number, you're going to divide 2 into 3. So 3 is divided by 2. So how many times does 2 go into 3? That's 1 and 1 remaining, so that would be 1 and 1 half. So 3 halves is equal to 1 and 1 half, and that's how you would add with common denominators, reduce and simplify. Okay, let's look at a second one. Okay, how about 6 fifths and 8 fifths? Now on these, we have improper fraction, which means the numerator is larger than the denominator, but as long as our common denominator is the same, then we're fine. So let's just add our denominators, or our numerators, excuse me. We're going to take 8 plus 6, and we're going to add those together, so we're going to get 14 over 5, or 14 fifths. Again, it's an improper fraction, so I'm going to divide 5 and see how many times it goes into 14. Well, 5 into 14 goes twice, with 4 remaining, so that gives me 2, and the remainder is 4 fifths. So 2 and 4 fifths if we do need to convert it back to a um, mixed number. Okay, let's look at one more. And this time we're looking at common denominators with mixed numbers. Mixed numbers meaning I have a whole number and a fraction. Okay, the easiest thing to do with these is to go ahead and add your whole numbers. So let's add 2 plus 3 and we're going to get 5. And then I'm going to take my fractions and I'm going to add those together. Okay, I have one-third plus two-thirds, that gives me three-thirds. Well, three-thirds, that just simplifies to the whole number one. So I'm going to take five, and I'm going to add to it my fraction. Well, my fraction ended up just being a whole number, so five plus one is six. So that is what two and one-third plus three and two-thirds adds up to. I hope this video was helpful to teach you how to add fractions with common denominators.